Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could be here. Today we have a sunshiny day, but uh, what we're here for today is a Volkswagen Passat 2013 model. It's my own car, it's the diesel. But what we have today is the case of a inoperative remote. Um, as you can see, there's nothing there. So this is gonna be a short video. I'm pretty sure it's a battery because uh, about three years ago, this thing already said low battery. Well, I had another remote that worked and then yesterday it told me to change the battery in that one. So I thought, well, I better get both of these going while I'm at it. And it might be helpful to somebody to uh, make a video on it. So come along. I'll show you guys how to change the battery in a Volkswagen Passat remote. Contact. Okay, so most remotes do use the inner the 2032 Energizer uh, battery. Um, you want to use an energizer battery. Why? I'm not sure. Just because. Uh, but uh, get yourself an energizer battery and you can get the two pack. My local uh, hardware store there had them for um, $5. So for a two pack. Pretty cheap. And then you'll want to open this thing. I'm going to have to have two hands. And then what you'll want to do is on this remote. There's a uh, little recess here. You can either do it this way or most times you can just pry up on it. And that's how I do it. Now, not all remotes are the same, but that's how it is with this one. Mo <coughs> Excuse me. Most remotes, however, do use this CR2032 battery. So not all of them, but the majority of them do. All right, so now, all right, since we're here anyway, and we've got our meter close by, let's just go ahead and check our voltage. So these are three volts, and this side is positive, I believe. I believe this side's negative. Um, so let's go ahead and test this. And this is DC voltage. There's zero volts there. Well, 0.1. So yeah, pretty, pretty dead. All right, so let's check our new one here. Make sure that this one's good. Yeah, 3.2, 3.3 volts. So negative is here, positive is here. So that's how you know that you have a good battery. We'll uh, go ahead and Put that thing in through there and as you can see you got to put this thing in a certain way because there's a spring loaded tab there and a spring loaded tab there if you try to put it in this end in first you'll bend those tabs when you try to go in if you force it so don't force it just slide it in here kind of push down on it to get it underneath that lip and it just pops right in there Okay, now just uh, put this cover back on and it pops in there like that. Now we test it. Will it work? Ta-da! Okay, will our remote start work? Powering up. Yes! It works. All right. So, there you have it. It's easy to do. You don't have to take it anywhere. You can buy yourself a double or a set of batteries like that. And uh, it will uh, most times fix the problem. Now, not always. However, if it's the battery problem, it will fix the problem. So, it's easy to do. Hopefully this is helpful. I know it's a short little video, but uh, Thought it might help you out. We've now got two fully functioning remotes. Yeah, that's how you change a battery. Just simple as that. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, if you don't mind, tap that like button. 
share and subscribe to the channel doesn't cost you guys a thing helps me out a bunch i appreciate it y'all have a great day happy thanksgiving seriously